Today, we are taking our longest motorbike trip yet. We are traveling from the largest city in Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh City, to the rural Mekong River Delta. All in, the drive should take us four hours. Should. This is so heavy. What the heck is wrong with this? Okay, we're gonna try this. We are staying right on the water in a beautiful family-owned homestay. And if all goes according to plan, <laughs> we will be checking off another bucket list item by exploring one of Vietnam's famous floating markets. Good morning. You know, I need to learn how to say good morning in Vietnamese. <laughs> Boi Sang Tot Lan. Boi Sang Tot Lan. We have a very eventful 48 hours ahead of us. First, we need to get our transportation sorted. Ready? I am ready. We're on the street. This place is crazy, but it is like 11. It's time for breakfast. Our first time getting pho. It's a breakfast food here, so I think we should get one plate mignon and one breakfast. Oh. Come on. These are huge. Yeah, they are. I'm checking other people eating their food, so I know how to eat it. I gotta add stuff to it, too. There's a bunch of spices and stuff on there, too. It's okay, just go in with chopsticks. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Is it? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> and finally, we were off for our four hour journey to the Mekong River Delta. So heavy. This is by far the longest bike ride we've ever been on by probably three or four hours. Right now it's really, really heavy on Alicia's back, so we're gonna redistribute and then I'll have a bag just like between my legs while we're driving and hopefully that helps us be a little more comfortable if there is such a thing. Okay, we're gonna try this. Alicia is carrying two pounds now. She's done great. <laughs> Truthfully, it's just really tricky when you're going on a bike ride this long. And this bike is like not made for this length of trip or this amount of comfort that is needed. So we'll see. And after conquering our fear of our first bridge, we bypassed one, drove across another, and then came across something to this day we can't quite explain. There's so many cars. Yeah. They're not even in order. <laughs> it says something on it, but I can't read it. We made it. It took about six hours in total. We did not make it for sunset, not even close. And the really cool part was our headlights didn't work. So I was basically just staying as close as I could to other people with good lights that were driving at about the same speed. Fortunately, this place that we were at right now wasn't too far off the beaten path. So it was well lit most of the way. And putting the backpack between my legs worked 
a lot better and made for a much more comfortable ride the rest of the way. But we are exhausted. Pretty sure we stink and uh, we need a shower as do my glasses because we have to get up at like 4.30 in the morning. So we will see you then. It's five in the morning, real early. Slipped. <laughs> we just did that two seconds ago. <laughs> After Alicia's near fall, we safely jumped into our taxi to head to the docks where we met our guide, Alex and driver Matt. Hi. Thank you. Right. Be careful. Be careful. On our way to the floating market, Alex pointed out that most all of the boats had eyes on the front of them. This is to make the boats look like bigger, more intimidating crocodiles to the actual crocodiles that once flourished in the Mekong waterways. Good morning. It's now 6.30 in the morning. We had to wake up at 4.30 this morning to get ready and come out here, but we finally made it to the floating market. It's massive and it's like a wholesale market. So it's not just for tourists, it's more authentic. And this is where other markets come to buy all their food to sell on land. First stop this morning is breakfast, and we are literally wedged in here right between the boat that's cooking us breakfast. So we're having like a noodle soup this morning, and then the cafeteria boat who is supplying us with our first taste of coffee this morning, which at 6.30 and having been up since five, I'm yeah. ready for. Nathan, be careful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a table for you guys. Oh, thank you. Oh, cool. Look at that. Thank you. <laughs> There's a lot of floating restaurants that you can see a lot of the tour boats at, but that is just the tourist way that they've built these restaurants once the tourists are coming. This floating market has been around since the 17th century, and the authentic way to do it is to pull up to a boat that is making breakfast, hook on to them, and then you get your breakfast that way. We have a table and chopsticks, and we're ready to eat. Right, here's your breakfast. Uh, like different types of pork. Okay. Like we have the normal pork right here, yeah. and these are like the pork that the, the local people grind them, and then they press them in a kind of bun. Yeah, yeah just, okay. Can you like, I eat can the fermented mm. shrimp? Sure. You sure? Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> wow. It's a fermented shrimp. Okay. If you can try it, uh, put it inside. Okay. If you cannot, it's, it's fine. Okay. Because it smells really strong. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want mm. some uh, comfort to squeeze inside the bowl? Some couple, some sour things. Okay. You want some? Okay. Yeah. The amount of times I've said yes in the last five minutes is ridiculous. I'm here for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Come on. Really good. All of the veggies are so fresh. Mmm. They're good. And hearty. Testing out the coffee. That is. That's basically just a frappuccino. That is better than Starbucks though. That's delicious. Gotta love the uh, miracle of condensed milk. Hey, this is fermented shrimp. <laughs> fermented shrimp paste. It smells like the ocean and not the good way. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like it too. Are you laughing at her? Yeah, it's too hot. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. It's okay if you are. I laugh at her all the time. <laughs> How was that? How was that? Very strong. Yeah, really strong. Yeah. So strong. I, I don't mind it. It was just like... This has been such a unique and fun experience. Like eating in this area, we're just bumping up against boats like right and left. <laughs> After breakfast, we headed to shore to see how Vietnam makes its delicious rice noodles. The very same noodles we ate for breakfast. This is a 40 year old factory? Yeah, 40 year old. Oh, cool. To take advantage of the cooler morning temperatures, the cooking process starts at 4 a.m. and runs until 1 p.m., after which they set them out to dry in the afternoon heat. It may look easy, but I promise you it is a truly delicate process and an art form. Keep it down and roll slowly. Okay, so you can feel that there are some oil on the side of the rice paper. Okay. So they put oil on the side because it's easier when they put in the cutting machine. So it's not gonna stuck inside. Oh. I feel like I missed the really fast part of this. Really, really. 
All right, we have right here. If I mess up a clump. <laughs> this is the tamarind tree. Yes, and you can try the taste of the leaf. It's really nice because really? the local people pick the tamarind leaf and then they eat with the salt to oh, when they have the sore throat. Oh, okay. So you just, just eat, eat it. This. Just eat it. Yeah. Go shower. Wow, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it like yeah, comes shower. after. Yeah, it does. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. They will eat with salt and it keeps their throat clear. Mm. Back to the boat Hi. and we're going to go get some more food, this time some pineapple. We got to come to the top of this boat to eat pineapples. And we just eat the whole pineapple. You can actually eat the core. I had no idea. But it's a perfect little break in our day. It's only 8.30. <laughs> we are now on land. Check out the land market. with sugar and I don't know what else, but it tastes like an ice cream cone. Mmm. Mmm. So they sell fake clothes, money, and even like iPhones and things so that when people pass, they will burn it for them to use and have in the afterlife. So here's a thing that we call, uh, actually in Vietnamese we call it bánh bò. Bánh? Bánh? Bò. Bò. Yeah, bánh bò. <laughs> okay. It's rice flour and coconut milk and sugar. So it's another sweet treat. Mmm, it's so fluffy. It's like a marshmallow? Yeah, but like denser than a marshmallow. It's so good. It's not super sweet. Okay, try. Put it on you. I'll go eat the whole thing. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, very good. That's delicious. One thing I love about sweets in different parts of the world is that the sweetness is so much more subtle versus like the Snickers in the US, which is just a rush of sugar. It's just a delicate like touch of sweetness. Mm. Oh, it's delicious. Oh my God. It's the seed of the coconut. It's so delicious. Mm. Oh my god, that's really good. Yeah, it is good. You would want to try the coconut meat? Oh my god. Yeah, just pick it and uh, try it. Mmm. That's so good. Come on. Come on. <laughs> That was such a different experience than when we go to the land market because we have no idea what we're doing. No idea what we're looking at. So we got to try two snacks and we got some fresh coconut from a very nice vendor. The people in Vietnam are just so happy and so nice to us. I love it. Man, you found it. Good job. <laughs> thank you so much for joining me on the oh no today. thank you that was amazing. you're awesome we made it back to the homestay alex and menth were just wonderful and if you're interested in taking a tour with them we're gonna put their whatsapp number in the description below but now we had a six hour drive yesterday a five o'clock wake up call we're gonna hang out in the hammock for a little bit Wow, we are just taking a nap outside right now. And within seconds, like seconds, the storm just blew in and it looks nasty. It's like haunted in here. Ugh. It sounds really cool inside. I can't believe these roofs don't leak. Nothing yet. I guess I shouldn't speak yet because it's probably too soon considering it just started raining but so far very impressive i legitimately can just not believe how fast this happened 
perfect sunny nap day in the hammock to torrential downpours. Seconds. Not even an exaggeration. <laughs> Part of our stay at the Green Village Mekong is a prepared breakfast and dinner. Tonight we're having a chicken hot pot with mushrooms, morning glory, Japanese mushrooms, and cabbage. And one thing we have loved about our food here is that we don't know how to eat any of it, but they do such an amazing job of going through each item, what it is, how to eat it, even which plate or bowl to put it in. Small plate and okay. make it cooler. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, yeah. that's a very good idea. Yeah, otherwise it's super hot. Okay. <laughs> So there's like nothing left for us to guess. Since being just even at this homestay, I have come to love Morning Glory. More crispy crepes for dessert. So simple and delicious. Do you taste the coconut in this one? Oh yeah. Yeah. Time for bed. Boo. Morning. Good morning. We are leaving today and we thought we'd give a full tour of our cute little home stay here in the Mekong. We're staying at Green Village Mekong. Everyone who works here is like the loveliest people we've ever met. And we have a cute little place right on the water. It's one of those places that's super small and basic but has everything that you need, like some beds with mosquito nets, very much needed, especially when we're on the still water just outside. Small little table and chairs, a mini fridge, and a couple of fans. There's no AC here, so the fans were nice to have running throughout the night since it is so hot and muggy. There's also a bathroom that looks like it's outside but it's actually an indoor bathroom which is nice because we've had a lot of rain and then the best part our amazing patio right on the water this is actually the reason I booked this place there are a ton of homestays in the Mekong Delta but this one was in our price range and right on the water we have these great little hammocks that we took naps in yesterday and we spent the majority of our time when we're at the homestay out on this balcony My wow thank you thank you so much oh my gosh, look at this can you hear that? That was not post edit work. That was real life. <laughs> Which is amazing, but also I probably don't know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, look at this. It's just like crumbling. Mm. Oh my God. <sighs> I didn't 